Hello everyone! Ang i-discuss ko ngayon ay tungkol sa vertebrates. First, let us define kung ano nga ba ang vertebrates. Vertebrates belong to one of the phyla of the animal kingdom called phylum chordata. So, yung phylum chordata, it consists of a dorsal spinal cord running along the entire length of their body. So, meaning to say, itong si vertebrates, pasok siya sa grupo ng animal kingdom and dun sa grupo na yon ang tawag sa kanila ay phylum chordata. Yung mga animals under phylum chordata, they have spinal cord. So, meaning to say, pag sinabi nating vertebrates, sila yung mga animals with backbone or sila yung mga animals with spinal cord. Cartilage or bones are the building materials of most vertebrate endoskeletons. We all know naman na yung cartilage, siya yung flexible na bones natin. Before we proceed doon sa klases ng vertebrates, gusto ko lang i-differentiate kung ano ang pinagkaiba ng warm-blooded animals or tinatawag na endothermic vertebrates sa cold-blooded animals. First, pag sinabi nating warm-blooded animals, their body temperature is stable even if they are in extremely hot or cold environment. As you can see in the picture, magkaiba sila ng temperature, magkaiba sila ng um, environment, but yung temperature nila ay stable or constant, hindi nagbabago. Pero pag sinabi natin cold-blooded vertebrates or ectodermic animals, they cannot make their body temperature stable. Hindi niya magawang stable. Kaya kung mapapansin ninyo dito sa picture, nung nag-iba yung environment, nung nag-iba yung temperature ng environment, nag-iba rin yung kanyang temperature. Okay? So ulitin natin. Kay warm-blooded, constant yung kanyang temperature kahit ano yung temperature ng environment. Pero kay cold-blooded, once na mag-iba yung temperature ng environment, mag-iiba rin yung temperature. So, vertebrates can be classified into different classes. Meron tayong mammals, birds, amphibians, fishes, and reptiles. Isa-isahin natin sila. Number one, mammals. Having mammary gland, wherein yung mammary gland essential in the process of lactation. They are warm-blooded animals, tulad ng sabi ko kanina, warm-blooded, stable or constant yung kanilang temperature kahit nasa silang environment. Bakit? Because they have hair or fur. Okay? And mammals breathe through their lungs. Most mammals live on land while others live in water. And tayong mga tao, dito tayo kabilang sa grupo na to. Okay? Mammals are classified as eudarian or placental, marsupial, and monotremes. So, ano nga ba ang kaibahan ng placental, marsupial, and monotremes? Kay placental, ito yung mga animals na, na, na nakakapag-develop ng kanilang baby sa kanilang uterus. Pero yung marsupial, nasa pouch nila yan. Okay? Yan yung mga examples na sa iba ba. Talang yung monotrim, sila yung mga egg-laying mammals. Again, tignan ninyo ang kaibahan nila. Kay placental, ito yung mga, mga animals, animals na nakakapag-develop ng baby nila sa kanilang uterus. Yung marsupial ay sa kanilang pouch. And yung monotrims, once na ilabas na nila yung baby nila, ay egg siya. So, after ng mammals, meron tayong tinatawag na reptiles. Ito ay ectodermic vertebrates. It is composed of scaly epidermis. Tignan ninyo yung kanilang um, skin. Ma, ma, ano sila, magagaspang or magagalas. Ganyan. Terrestrial animals, meaning to say they are fully adapted to live on land. Kasi mamaya, baka malito kayo kung ano nga ba yung reptiles and ano yung amphibians. So, reptiles, 
Uh, bear in your mind, scaly epidermis, yung skin niya, pansinin niyo magagalas, magagaspang. And they are fully adopted to live on land. Uh, tulad ng mammals, um, ito yung mga animals na to, they breathe through their lungs for respiration with an exception for turtles because according to my research, yung turtles nakakahinga siya uh, gamit yung kanyang bat. Use their legs and feet for locomotion, di ba? Yung mga uh, reptiles, nagkocrawl sila. Some reptiles are viviparous while others are oviparous. Meaning to say, merong mga uh, reptiles na kapag nag -re sila ng baby nila, pwedeng itlog or pwedeng um, born alive or yun na yun agad. Next, we have here the amphibians. Amphibians ay cold-blooded animals. Tulad ng sabi ko kanina, yung cold-blooded Um, hindi niya kayang maging stable yung temperature. Pag nagbago yung environment or yung temperature ng environment, mag-iiba rin yung temperature niya. And they spent, uh, they spent a part of their lives in water and on land. Unlike kanina kay reptile, si reptiles kasi totally nakatira siya sa land. Pero si amphibians spent a part of their lives in water and on land. So, vertebrates which can live in both land and water. Tayo mga tao, baka mapaisip, um, ako nakakapag-swimming. Di ba may mga animals naman nakakapag-swimming? Yes, nakakapag-adapt sila sa water, pero hindi nila kayang manirahan sa water. Pero yung amphibians, kaya nila yon. Okay? Ulitin natin. Yung reptile, pwede silang makapunta sa water, nakakapag-adapt sila sa water, pero hindi sila mabubuhay doon. Pero si amphibians, pwede silang mabuhay sa water and pwede silang mabuhay sa lupa. Bakit? Kasi kapag nasa tubig sila, ginagamit nila ang kanilang gills para makahinga at kapag ka naman nasa lupa sila, ginagamit naman yung kanilang lungs para makahinga. Oh, so, di ba? Yun yung kaibahan ng reptiles at saka ng amphibians. And ito pa yung kanilang um, pagkakaiba. Amphibians have smooth and moist skin. Kung mapapansin ninyo kanina sa reptiles, magagalas, magagaspang yung kanilang skin. Pero dito, tignan ninyo, parang mabasa-basa siya na madulas. Nagmo-moist, okay? And amphibians lay eggs in, in water. Next, number four, we have here birds. Birds endodermic organism just like mammal. So, ano yung meron sa kanila? Ba't, ba't sila naging um, endodermic or warm-blooded? Dahil sa kanilang feather. So, uh, yung birds, sila yung vertebrates with feathers capable of flight and some can swim as well. Birds have two pairs of limbs. Yun yung four limbs and hind limbs. Yun yung pakpak nila at saka yung paa nila na pwede nilang pangkuhan ng pagkain. They have strong and light weight bones na nagiging reason ba't sila nakakalipad. And the mouth is in the form of a horn-covered beak or bill because yung birds wala silang mouth. Instead, they have a beak or bill para makakuha sila ng a food. And they lay eggs with shells. And lastly, we have here the fishes considered as ectodermic. So, ay naman tayo sa ectodermic, meaning to say cold-blooded. Kung nalilito kayo dito, tignan ninyo, may clue ako dito, ek. Di ba si ek, meron siyang letter C. So, pag nakita ninyo yung ectodermic, that is cold-blooded animals. Okay, again, ectodermic, cold-blooded animals. And then, yung warm-blooded ay endodermic. Fishes, they are equipped with gills for, breath for their breathing process. Live in either marine or fresh water, they are covered with scales, and fishes lay eggs in water, and their young are hatched from eggs. So, yon yung um, classes ng vertebrates. Again, ano-ano yon? Mammals, birds, fishes, reptiles, and amphibians. Again, yung mammals. Uh, meron silang mammary gland na nakakapag-produce sila ng milk. They are warm-blooded animals dahil sa presence ng kanilang uh, fur or hair. Yung birds, 
Of course, may feather sila, nakakalipad sila, warm-blooded rin sila. Yung fishes, ectodermic sila and ginagamit nila yung kanilang gills para makahinga. Yung kaibahan ng reptiles at amphibians, yung reptiles, scaly, pero yung amphibians ay mamomoist. And then, yung reptiles, they are fully adapted to live on land, pero yung amphibians, um, pwede silang mabuhay sa lupa, pwede silang mabuhay sa tubig. Pag nasa tubig, ginagamit nila yung kanilang gills, pero pag sila ay nasa lupa, ginagamit nila ang kanilang lungs. So, ito yung mga importance ng vertebrates. Una, yung mammals. Ano ba ang importance ni mammals? Okay, it serve as our partners in agriculture, sources of food, service animals by people, kept as pets, medical and scientific research, balance and nature. How about the importance of reptiles and amphibians? Serve as food for some communities, venom, used by some farmers, pets for some individuals. Birds and fishes, um, sources of food, kept as pets, biological control, assist in seed dispersal, balancing the ecosystem. So, yon I hope na may natutunan ang mga bata tungkol sa um, kung ano ang vertebrates at kung ano-ano ang mga klase ng vertebrates. Salamat sa panonood. Hanggang sa muli. Paalam.